Shalom. Number one is my elders and my apostles at Great Millstone who rule well for teaching me the truth. Salutations to you. I came out there in the four corners laboring in the truth, pushing with all righteousness and sincerity. And Shalom to you confusing the face, brothers who don't look like an average everyday Israelite, but you are according to the Holy Spirit. To you, I say Shalom. There's a brother Kaya Ha here coming back at you with another video through the Spirit, man. And I'm going to go um, into, you know, a brief little sit down on the um the hour of jacob's trouble and um what he saw the so-called white man has planted for you israelites out there you know going into two-thirds okay if you so-called negroes latinos and native americans he saw the so-called white man is about to come down upon you and through the spirit we're going to get into that all right but starting off this is the book of jeremiah chapter 30 verse 7 it says alas for that day is great so that none is like it it is even the time of jacob's trouble but he shall be saved out of it now it says, alas, meaning finally, you know, this day is finally here, all right? And that day is coming up real close, man. We're looking at the end time signs right now. You see brothers all across the four corners of the world pushing this truth, pushing um, current events on social media, on YouTube, and so on and so forth. We see brothers all across the four corners of the globe doing this. Because what? We know through the spirit, we being, you know, the hopeful elect, through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shatha, our elders and our apostles, we know that Jacob Shubb is on his way. Jacob Shubb, meaning martial law, the RFID chip, when it becomes mandatory. Esau, the so called white man, got his robotics coming out and about to start getting busy on you, Jakes. All right, Esau, the so called white man, was blessed with the sword. So don't think for a second that he's not going to go in in the hour of Jacob's trouble. Okay? It says so that none is like it. Yeah, this this the hour of Jacob's trouble is gonna be a day like never before seen. You know, the scriptures say there was never a day like it in the past, and there shall never be a day like it. So this is gonna be a new day for the whole for the whole world. All right, a new hour, and it's gonna be a terrible hour because this is the hour of the Lord's judgment of Yahweh Shemuel Shah's judgment. Okay, the Lord is coming back with total wrath. Our brothers is gonna see some some freaky stuff out here, okay? On the left hand side, but we all know everything is ordained of Yahweh Shimi Hawasha. It says it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, still in verse seven. But he shall be saved out of it. And who's that he that's gonna be saved out of it? The elect, the one hundred forty four thousand, and the one third is gonna be saved out of the hour of Jacob's trouble. Meaning what? Yahweh Shimi Hawasha is gonna preserve his men, okay? The elect is gonna be uh, uh, cared for and looked after. Okay, and that's hey, that's playing right there. Only the elect, the one hundred forty-four thousand and one third, is gonna be is not gonna be touched by that temptation. Now, don't get it twisted, man. Brothers is gonna be tried through the spirit. All right, you, we have some um, some sincere brothers who who died doing the work, and I was a little having having mercy on them. Okay, but it's it's gonna be brothers alive through the hour of Jacob's trouble. But the scriptures say, "What my servant shall eat." Matter of fact, let me get that through the spirit. In this book of Isaiah, chapter 65. Matter of fact, I'm going to just, um, I'm going to jump to verse 14, all right? Because the point is really in this. It says, Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. This is going into the elect and the two-thirds all right two-thirds of you so-called negroes latinos and native americans are wicked as hell and you're going to be totally destroyed in the hour of jacob's trouble when the lord come back and renders his vengeance upon you it says my servants shall eat okay who are the lord's servants or who are the lord's slaves his his um who, who are his his trustworthy uh, uh servants it's the elect the 144,000 men and the one-third of the nation of israel Okay, it says my servants shall shall sing for joy of heart. Okay, because in the hour of Jacob's trouble, we're gonna be praising you, how about Shimi Hausha, um, when it, when he comes back. Okay, even closer now because we we know the Lord is coming back through the Spirit. All right, so we're gonna be praising the Lord's name. Call Allah Yim Lai Yahab Shimi Hausha. All the elect around the four corners of the globe is gonna be doing that. All right, because they're gonna have the scriptures in their head. It says, but ye and that ye is going into you two thirds. It says, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. Yeah, you two thirds is going to be vexed out here. You're going to be looking for the Lord, but you won't be able to find him because you didn't repent. 
Okay, the scriptures say, but she did do, uh, but she did, um, so like it, let me go back up because it's, it's in this chapter. Yep, here it is. Isaiah 65 and, and uh, uh, 12. It says, therefore, will I number you to the sword and you shall all bow down to the slaughter because when I called, he did not answer. When I spake, he did not hear, but did evil before mine eyes. Yeah, two thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans is doing all right, and you will continue to do evil before the before the Lord's eyes. Continue to do evil in front of Yahweh Hashem Yahusha. It says, "And did choose that wherein I delighted not." Yeah, and that's what I was trying to get out earlier. Salaki. It says, "And did choose that wherein I delighted not." Not seeking repentance, still bowing yourselves down to Esau, the so-called white man, and the rest of the heathen and their gods. Okay, so going back to verse fourteen, that's why two thirds is going to be vexed. That's why the scriptures say y'all going to be howling for vexation of spirit. Okay, and what inspired me to do this video was that um, a brother had posted this, uh, posted this video on the plus, going into um a Russian RoboCop. It says Kale Kalesh Kaleshnikov reveals it's controlled by Peter Walker. So I'm gonna play a little bit of the video. Look at this thing, man. It looked like something from Star Wars or something. All right, but like I said, I'm all, I was only going to play a little bit of the video. All right, but this is what Esau, the so-called white man, has prepared for you, Jakes. All right, this is the out. You, you're going to see stuff like that in the hour of Jacob's trouble. Keep thinking it's not going to happen. They don't just have, I mean, it's on display, but they're not keeping that up there for display. All right, because if they got one, then they, they got a thousand. All right, you saw the so-called white man was blessed with the sword. All right, you saw the so-called white man was blessed with the sword for the hour of Jacob's trouble. All right, the day of great tribulation that's coming upon the house of Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and really the whole world. Because everybody going to be jacked up. Okay. Because the Lord is bringing Israel back. All right, Yahabah Shema Shah is going to jack the whole world up for the controversy of Israel. You know, his chosen people. Uh, the people that he chose, I should say. All right. But let me get this. In um, the book of Genesis, chapter 27, verse 40. Okay. Talking about how Esau, the so-called white man, was blessed with the sword. It says, and by thy sword... Shalt thou live and shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. Okay, going into Esau the so called white man, because when Esau got blessed by Isaac, he received the second blessing. Okay, he was blessed with the power of destruction. That's that's what a sword is a sword is an instrument used for destruction. All right, the Hebrew word for it is karab. Okay, a weapon used for destruction. You know, and a sword comes in many variations. It could be plague, pestilence, famine, our right, literal sword, guns, the bipedal um robot that um uh, that I just showed brothers through the spirit. All right, anything that anything that could kill, he saw the so-called white man. He was blessed with the power to use it to his to his best advantage. All right, that's his blessing. All right, and it's gonna be a lot more things out here that brothers is gonna see. And all of that is for the day of destruction. Okay? It says, And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion, or when Esau comes back into power, which is, um, that started at the time of the Renaissance, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. Now, so Esau, the so-called white man, he's not in slavery right now. Okay? He broke Jake's bonds from off his neck. Okay? So Esau, the so-called white man, you know, this started from the time of the Renaissance. Okay? The rebirth of Esau. All right? It says, and Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. And that's why you're seeing all of these, all of this strange technology out here. Because Esau, the so-called white man, is about to slay Jacob, you know. But Yahweh Shemashah is going to preserve the elect. But 
anybody that's not in a circle of the 144,000 and the one third is, is going to get slayed, man. Okay, so the so-called white man. Let me get that. In the book of um Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Okay, so woe to everybody on this earth right now. You know, starting off with the house of David. All right, the house of God. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, that word woe means death and destruction. So woe unto us. It says, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. And that's the point. Okay, and Esau, that devil, that dragon, is about to come down on the whole world having great wrath, great anger. Okay? Because he sees that the house of Israel is waking up to the fact that they're Israelites. And the so-called white man does not want that to happen. So he has to come down with, with all of this um, uh, military arsenal and artillery. Okay? He got to come down with this with this sword. You know, as the scriptures say. Because he know that he has a, a short time. And his time is, is drawn out. His time is, is up. You know? The Lord, the scriptures say in the book of Job, he appointed him his bounds that he can't pass. You saw the so-called white man... He can't go past the time he's he's set up to rule. All right? And Yahabba Shema Shah is about to take him out of power by force. You know? But that's why brothers got to continue to trust in Yahabba Shema Shah. All right? The scriptures say we are not ignorant of Satan's devices. Let me get this. All right? We see the so-called white man coming. We know we know that he's angry. Starting with the men of the Lord. All right, starting with the men of Great Millstone. All right, our elders and our apostles and their teachers before them because they started this whole thing off. And the government seen it. Okay, and the government is mainly composed of Esau, you know, which which that's really what it is. You know, who who really is ruling right now. Okay. And the reason why Esau the so-called white man, the reason why he's getting so ready and riled up right now. Is, is because of the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone when this word came back full force. Okay? And it started growing and expanding. But the so-called white man couldn't, he can't take us out right away because everything, again, is of the Lord. You know? But let me read this. It says, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, uh, Salakia, this is 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. It says, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Are we, we not ignorant of the devices and the schemes and the mechanisms that Esau the so-called white man will formulate and plot against us. We're not ignorant, okay? We're not in darkness. The scriptures talk about that, okay? It says, lest Satan should get an advantage of us. Satan means adversary. Our top number one adversary is Esau the so-called white man should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. That's why brothers is always pushing videos on current events and news and anything else that they're showing on the media concerning the day of wrath, the day of destruction. Okay, whether it's the RFID chip, the the um the new military personnel, all right, any kind of uh, biological or chemical warfare. Our brothers be posting videos of all of that stuff. You know, like we're supposed to do. The scriptures tell you to measure out the time diligently in itself. You know. But it says, let's say it should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, okay? The scriptures say we are not the children of darkness. We are the children of light, going into the elect. So we see, Lord willing we be those men, we see everything that the so-called white man is doing, man, okay? We're not ignorant. We, we see exactly what he's doing. He's not slick. And the Lord is about to come back and then all of this stuff, man, all right? But the hour of Jacob's trouble, it has to come past, okay? The hour of tribulation, it, it has to pass. In order for that great day of the Lord to come to come back and he rescue his people, you know, the elect of his people, that is. All right. So, brothers, hey, just stay prayed up through the spirit and um, just keep pushing, man. You know, it's, hey, it's about that time. This is the day we're looking for the race wars, all of this stuff, man. We're looking forward to this day because we know that the Lord right after all of this, man, Yahabba Shema Shah is coming back to deliver us. OK, so Lord willing, I was edifying. Abba Shemrachak Wadash, call Layim La, Yahabba Shimi Hawasha, Shalom.